Go on. Well, Wally here. Guys, I'm out taking the dogs for a walk. It's a uh, elbow high bracken, brambles, wet grass. Perfect to talk about trousers and sea land. Key point active trousers. Dogs pulling me on a bit, nearly fell over. <laughs> Yes, guys, so today up on the table for review, long term review, guys. I'm looking at the Sealand Key Point Active. I think I'm going to say the name of these th these trousers are, guys. So, these are a waterproof line trouser made by the company Sealand, guys, who, who, make, uh, who make hunting gear, basically. So, uh, the whole reason behind these was for me to get them as a winter trouser and see how they performed. Now, it's a snotty day, but it's, it's misty, it's rainy. I'm, I'm moving through the end of summer grass and stuff, so hang on, fix my glasses. Guys, it's a good test for them. So stay tuned. Okay, okay. I've just stopped for a little break. Uh, let's let's have a look at these at these trousers, okay? Good dog, Cooter. Look, check them out, guys. They're they're not a bad looking trouser, okay? I know that that's a negative start. Come here, come here, okay, guys. They are. I tell you what it is, guys. They're a waterproof lined trouser, right? You can only wear these in winter. That's that's it. They are too warm to be worn at any other time. That's that's what I have found, guys. They are the waterproofing does the business, guys. And you, you can see that they're sort of fitted, uh, you know, sort of articulated. I think you call it round the knees and stuff like that, guys, to make it e to make it easier for movement and stuff. Okay. But here is where the problems come in. Okay. They're a funny size. You know what I'm like with my sizing, guys. You know how important it is for me to get a pair of trousers to fit properly. All right, so I'm not sure of the size of these, but I'll flash it up on the screen below. Guys, they fit me in the hips and they fit me in the waist. They're tight in the crotch and they're skinny in the leg and too long in the leg as well, okay? So, which means that I roll them up on the inside. Now, for a pair of waterproof trousers, you can't roll them up on the outside because when it's pissed and rain, that, creates a pocket that will just fill up with water you know helicopter hang on guys when I put them on me this morning to wear them out right I sort of realized that I haven't done a long-term review of them okay uh, and that's because I don't wear them because I don't find them that comfortable okay unless it's Baltic in the middle of winter and it's a sopping day like the day now for now yeah. Now, the pockets work a hundred percent, guys. The zip pockets on the side work. They are. I am not wet. Uh, you know, from wearing these today, guys. They're just. They're just not great. Okay. They function a hundred percent. They just. There could be a wee bit more talk put into them, guys. You know. Tight around the crotch. Is a big thing. <laughs> Not that I've noticed it that much when I'm when I'm actually moving, but in the house I noticed it. Okay, so guys, overall, they're all right. I think I paid forty something quid for them for that price. They're not bad. Okay, but if I had paid full price for them, I would not have been happy with them. I think full price could have been ninety pound. So overall, mm, mm, what do you think, Bruno? I would love to know whose brilliant idea it was. To use steel rods to support trees when they were planted these trees behind me as you can see all these oaks guys and these steel rods okay are invisible 
absolutely invisible and they're just so dangerous the whole the whole forest has followed them here full of them absolutely ridiculous forestry service what do these people be thinking guys thanks for watching stay frosty